Hello friend, this is Bob. Welcome to this channel. Many friends, we doing our chatting and we talk about uh, our work and our life. So many people was interested in the, what I'm, what's my job, what type of work I do. So for me, I'm an engineer. I work in the, have been the semiconductor industry for close to 20 years. And today I would like to share some information related to the to my work. And especially today is the talk about the thin field material. So I think that's many people will be very interested in this uh, topic because the thin films are used in every part of our life. Almost we can find it in anywhere, any place, and any time. We just it's just not that apparent to the most of us because it's so small, it's packaged in the within the item, the object. So here I let's uh, go share. Let's see what's uh, see the thin film material. When we talk about the thin film, first we want to talk what is the film. Basically, for any material, we are in the three dimension world, and if for material that's in the one dimension is much smaller, in the one dimension much smaller than the other two dimension. And usually that's when this term we call that a film. Example, including like uh, we do use, uh, you know, the plastic film. And sometimes with the oil, you have a drop of oil get uh, in the water spread on the surface. That's also the oil films. So basically for those when this material, the in the thickness wise is very, very thin, much smaller then the length and the width, so those when we call that film. Of course, the film that's a certain that's a limit of the width of the thickness. So basically, when we see the film, and in the material world, we say material science world, we talk that uh, basically we see there's two types of films: one in the thick films, and uh, another one in the thin films. So basically, if the film have a thickness higher than one micrometer, and uh, that's when you call the thicker film. If that's uh, below one micrometer, that thin film, of course, this one, it's, uh, the, the transition region, this gray, gray space. So sometimes even the film thickness is more than one micrometer, that's uh, still people may call that thin films. So regarding how thin the one micrometer, and uh, for American people, they may be more familiar with the inch or mil. So basically, one mil is 25 micrometer. As an uh, example, like human hair, usually between like 50 to 70 micrometer. And uh, so that when this one micrometer is by the one fiftieth or one seventieth of your hair the dia diameter, the thickness of your hair. When the film thickness goes below one micrometer, usually we don't use a micrometer. It's uh, easier to use a nanometer or angstrom. So basically one micrometer equal to a thousand nanometer and equal to the 10,000 angstrom. So in this way, in the film thickness, with the thin film, easier to see in the nanometer or angstrom. The thin film, so in that way, the thin film, they can be the solid or liquid material. But in the industry, when we in the, especially for the semiconductor industry, that's when mostly we talk about the solid films. And here, that's a thin film. They have a wide range of application. So in our daily life, in your like uh, the mirror in used every day, and that's when basically you have a thin film of like a silver on the top of a glass, and then you can use it to reflect light, your your the image show your image in the mirror, 
and also in the our uh, if you have glass seed uh, that's when also have a coating on the surface that's thin films and now the with the lighting industry now we use LED light so basically that's when you use a lot of thin film here I show the structure of the LED the device so you used the that's now use garlic nitride material and we can talk this material later also so this one that's LED we have a, it has two type of structure and basically that's a two the lateral structure basically it's an electrode that's a positive basically positive electrode and negative electrode they side by side that's lateral and this a vertical structure basically the two electrode on the two side of the device and this one went on the top went on the bottom in this structure you have electrode that's thin filmed p-type garlic nitride that's thin film multiple quantum well mq well that's also that's a thin film many layers of thin film inside so this one is basically that's active part for transferring the electrical current basically the energy electrical energy into the light that's optical energy basically the electrical transfer into the optical and give the light and come out through the surface and that's the light the LED light you see that's coming from the device and all this went on the top of the sapphire that's a substrate and because the film is so thin they need something to support on the back side that's a function of the substrate and this one lateral structure and this one the vertical structure is similar only with electrode on the two side for this one it, it, another example this one use the IC the computer chips so this is structure how it looks like for this is single this is the most transistor and so basically most stand for the metal oxide and semiconductor so the you can see this one electrode this is source and the joint electrode. This is the gate electrode. This one are the metal. Oxide, the silicon, the oxide is dielectric and basically separate the device from uh, another one. It's also separate, isolate the metal and uh, to the extra device only connected in a defined area. So this one, the oxide, and here the semiconductor, that's uh, silicon, the p-type semiconductor units of silicon. So this is the most structure. And all this one, again, this one is the electrode, the thin film, and this one dope the source of drain region, the thin film gate, they are thin films, and the gate oxide, they are also thin film. The here, the bulk of the, under the substrate, it can be thin film the thin film on top of substrate and then it can over this one also usually of silicon so basically when this use the typical use of the thin film and uh, also there's many other examples so we just give the other use we just give an example over here and then this one is the uh, the general basically and here I want to see give uh, the category basically how do we classify the material based on the thickness that's what the material scientists usually they talk. So when the if the material the thickness is around in the millimeter level, like around one millimeter, they usually call that sheet metal or plate, like a sheet material or plate material, like you know, the steel, aluminum, that's a sheet or plate. Below that, around less than one micrometer and then people become called that and about one micrometer they call that thick filmed and uh, that's like uh, we do the plastic film this one fold into this area like a plastic film it can be a few mil thick so from the up to the 100 sometimes even six mil they see that 150 micrometer they still call that that film and then the below one micrometer that the thin film and all the way up to the atomic level at atoms level molecule level we call that molecule the thin film and the right between the thin film and the thick film there's some overlaps that's term called the foil foil usually refer only refer to the metal films 
and a thick film of metal and also the stand stand alone that's uh, the material like aluminum foil or gold foil they are thin and stand alone we call that foil metal and in the different country they have a thickness defined with the foil thickness is slightly different but overall is within the fraction of a micrometer to the tenth of a micrometer thickness so that's what I want to share today regarding the thin film material. And if you are interested in this topic, please subscribe to this channel. And I also have the this uh, the program in the talking the Mandarin. And if you are interested, I'll list that cha channel on that in the description, and you can subscribe to that channel also. Thank you for watching this video, and I look forward to meet you in the next one.